Okay, so the question was asking us to determine where should we place uh, the charge with uh, negative one point zero times ten to the power of negative three coulombs between the charge with one point zero coulomb charge and the charge with two point zero coulomb charge. Well, this is the graph I can draw. So Q two is the one we're looking for to place between Q one and Q three. Q one has a charge of one point zero coulombs. Q three has a charge of uh, positive two point zero coulombs. So since when we uh place this such charged object between Q1 and Q, uh, Q3, the net force is still equal to zero, which means that they are still in equilibrium, which means that the net force on Q2 is zero, okay? And this is equal to the force from charge one to charge two, plus the force from charge three on charge two, okay? And this will give us that the magnitude of charge one on charge two is equal to the magnitude of charge three on charge two. Okay, because since the net force is equal to zero, so this two forces here must be uh, having the same magnitude but are in opposite direction. So they can cancel out. Okay, and this will give us K. Q1, Q2 over x squared is equal to K, Q2, Q3 over 100 minus x squared. Okay? It's because the distance between Q1 and Q3 is, is 100 meter. So that means the distance between Q2 and Q3 is 100 minus x. Okay? And as you can tell, they have both both of them have K, so K can be canceled out. And both of them have Q2, and Q2 can be canceled out. And this will give us Q1 over X squared is equal to Q3 over 100 minus X squared. Okay? So if now we substitute the charges for Q1 and Q3, we will have 1 coulombs over X squared is equal to 2 coulombs over 100 minus x squared, okay? As you can tell, the unit coulomb here can be canceled out as well. So this just leaves us the number with it. And then this will lead us to a new equation, which is 2x squared is equal to 100 minus x squared, okay? How, how did I get this? Well, take a look. It's cross, cross, okay? It's cross, kind of, it's like uh, they, they multiply by each other, by cross each other, and we'll get such equations, which is 2x squared is equal to 100 minus x to, to the power of two, okay? And if we put a square two, on each side, we'll have square root of x is equal to 100 minus x. Therefore, square root of 2x plus x is equal to 100 meter, okay? And then square root of 2 plus 1 times x is equal to 100 meter. X is equal to 100 meter over square two plus one. And this will give us X is equal to 41.4 meter, okay? So 100 minus X is equal to 100 meter minus 41.4 meter. And this will give us 58.6 meter. So this charge object should be placed 41.4 uh, meter away from the first charge, which is the Q1, and 58.6 meter away from the third charge, which is uh, the Q3, okay? So these are my answers for, my, uh, for the question. Thank you.